Remember that I told you that when you change a noun, you change its meaning. Libro is a noun, and so are the words here. So for example, when we said book of Spanish, Spanish book, we said libro de español. If I want to say Spanish books, I'm talking about books of Spanish, so it's still libros de español. This word doesn't change because changing this word would change its meaning. If I, for example, I tried to put español here to make it match that one, then I would say books of Spaniards because españoles can mean Spaniards, and that's not what I mean. Same thing here. Books for children, libros para niños. If I want to say just one book for children, I say libro para, and I keep the S here because I'm talking about children. If I want to say books for boy, for a boy, I could say libros para niño, books for, for boys, for a boy, or libros para niña, girl books, <laughs> girls, books for girl, then, then I can do that. But when I change the ending, I change the meaning. Very important that you, that you understand that. Now here's a couple of other ones that you can use for certain things. The word con means with. You may have seen on a menu arroz con pollo, rice with chicken, or chile con carne, chili with meat. It's not pronounced con. Again, Spanish O is always O. It's con. This word means without, sin. Again, I is an E sound. So it's sort of like the English word sin. With, con, and sin, without. So let's say we had a, a book with, uh, with a tape, with a cassette. Libro con casete. Or if we had a book without paper, it would be a libro sin papel. Two other little words that you should know are e, e, pronounced like this, which means and, and o, which means or. So book and paper would be libro y papel. Book or cassette would be libro o cassette. Libro o cassette. Now let's look at a little dialogue here. Un momento. All right, now you can make very good dialogues with very simple vocabulary. Let's start out with the greeting, buenos dias. This would be appropriate if you were walking into a store or uh, greeting a neighbor or even saying hello to your family, buenos dias. Me, my, and then you fill in the blank. My item, por favor, please. So let's say you're requesting a book. Uh, buenos dias, mi libro, por favor. Now you can specify what kind of book. Let's say it's your Spanish book. Buenos dias, mi libro de español, por favor. Now here's a very good phrase in Spanish. It works in person, it works in the phone, it works anytime you need more time, even if it's to go get somebody who can help translate. Un momento. Again, you is like u, mo, Mento and a good T with the tongue behind the teeth. Un momento. One moment. Now, if you could role play this with someone, you can role play finding the item and handing it to the person. Then you want to be polite, of course. When you receive something in Spanish, you say gracias. 
even if, even if you're asked, for example, in English sometimes we ask someone, would you like some of this? And we say, yes, please. But in Spanish, if you're receiving something, you always say, yes, thanks, gracias. So you're, when you're receiving, you say, gracias. When you're requesting, you can say, por favor. You say, gracias to receive. Gracias, thanks, and you're welcome, de nada. So you can fill anything in the blank here. Uh, mi pluma, por favor. Un momento, gracias. De nada. Mi, mi lápiz, por favor. Un momento, gracias. De nada. Now we can change one word here and use this to request something from others. So let's say you need to ask somebody for something. Buenos dias. So let's say you need a card, a credit card or library card or some kind of card. Buenos dias. Su tarjeta, por favor. Un momento. Gracias. De nada. Perhaps you need the person's name. Buenos dias. Su nombre, por favor. Uh, un momento. I guess you had to think about that one. <laughs> Gracias. De nada. Su número. Telephone number would be número de teléfono because it's number of telephone. Su número de teléfono, por favor. Un momento. Gracias. So this concludes lesson three, more about things. Tune in next time to talk about how to ask if someone has something. Hasta luego y buena suerte. <laughs>